Orly is here to turn one of the season's hottest fashion trends into a clutch that is perfect for spring. This is so easy. Yeah. I would have never thought of this. This is so easy. And mesh right now is one of those things that's oh. everywhere. And sometimes a trend picks up in one area and then it spreads and it sort of is in the athletic area, right. athletic wear, and it's transferred into everything. Shoes, handbags, accessories. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool accessory. I, I think this is one of the most clever things you've yeah. ever done because really I think fun. of mesh. I don't think of this type of mesh. Yeah. This is very interesting. Where, this where is, does this come from? These are plastic mesh sheets that you can get at the craft store or the fabric store. Look. And they come like this. This is the size. You can get them in different sizes. They have them online. You can buy them in, in bunches. But this was 50 cents. So, I mean, it's incredibly inexpensive. You can also look in your local fabric store for plastic mesh on the roll. Just know that it's going to be a little bit softer. So make sure that it still is stiff enough that it will maintain its shape. That's the most important. I love the idea because I would have never thought to use yeah. this as it's a really fine. So what do we, how do we do this? How do we get started? The first thing that you want to do is create the shape of your clutch. So to do that, it's almost like we're creating an envelope. So take the bottom part and fold it up about as tall as you want it. So you can see what's on the top here will become our flap. So you just want to look at it and create the right overlap for you, depending okay. on how much you want that to be. I feel like that's about right. Mm -hmm. So Deb, would you grab those binder clips sure. right there for me? Binder clip one side together, Okay. And we'll do the other side. And the only reason that you do this is just that the plastic sheets, like I said, they're very stiff. Right. And it actually is really exhausting on your fingers to try to hold them closed While you're the whole to time. The it wants to open okay. on you. So doing the binder clips just gives it you know, a little less work. So now I've taken a embroidery needle, a larger needle with some embroidery floss. I chose to get, you can see all these here. I decided to get the sort of satin option. You don't need that. I just thought it was really pretty and mm -hmm. it has like a really nice sheen to it. Yeah. Um, but whatever embroidery floss. Nice look. Exactly. One note about the embroidery floss, you want to try to create a length as long as you can possibly manage. So if you're comfortable with this, create a really, really long length and just be careful as you're doing it to not get tangled because the longer it is, the less times you have to knot off, get a new one, sure. start a new knot, and you, do, you don't have as many little knots okay. in your design. So what you want to do is start off on the center. So I'm going to take my needle and come in on the bottom there, coming in through the bottom so that the knot will be hidden on the inside. Good, all right. And now we're going to go around and around and you pick, like you decide on your design, like how many do you want? So here you can see I have two. So now as I work my way up, I'm always gonna do two. And that's what guarantees, let's go actually this way. You always wanna go in the right direction so you can see instead of be blindly going in. So turn it around so that your needle is entering in. So you see what you're doing. Yeah, and the first one will want to curve on the bottom. Don't worry about it, just use your finger to hold it in place, it. and there you go, you can see. Now I'll be able to work. Hold your finger there, holding it in place. If you let go, this will yeah. all tangle. So pull tight, hold right. your finger in place, and I know I'm kind of blocking the camera, so I apologize. Oh, but, but I now can you go see in. how this is difficult on your fingers. Exactly, I mean, really right, so, so if you don't have the binder clips, it's, it's really hard. Be very so you tough. just keep doing this, you keep grabbing it, Pull it down towards you, grab your uh, embroidery needle, and, and go, go in through each hole. You've and you just two, keep. You can go three, exactly. however many you want. And see, this is what I was talking about. The longer it is, the more inclined you are to have little things get tangled. So just move carefully and slowly, pull slowly so that right. you don't get any you know, any tangles, any knots, and obviously the shorter it gets, the easier it gets. All right, so this will be a few Hallmark movies. Yeah, and actually I'll tell you, I made, like I made this one here in probably about 45 minutes. So I just sat That's down, and, so it's not that long, you just get the rhythm of it. And this is a little okay. miniature version that I sort of want to use just as an example here. So here's a miniature version, you can see I went all along the side, lacing it up. This connection here is connecting front and back together. Right. Then once you get to the top, I just keep going for decorative detail. It's not do, it's not holding anything together, it's right. just decorative. But it's beautiful, it makes it look expensive. Exactly, like that. but it's really, really strong. So this is durable. Right. This is great. Okay, so now we just add a clasp. Now we add a clasp. Decorate. Yes, so what I would recommend is using these magnetic clasps. They're great because there's no sewing and no glue and they're like legit. So take them and connect them together. This will Ooh, ensure that, great. yeah, they're really good. This will ensure that you will be evenly lined up. Mm -hmm. So take your clasp and you actually are able, once you find your center, you're able to just push right through the mesh. See how it comes right through yeah. there? So now take the little backing that it comes in the package with and you bend it back. On and your, fold them down. Yeah, you oh, fold them oh, down. Interesting. So it's super strong, and at this point, you can kind of like push on the table or get a pair of pliers or something right. like that. But I did both of them with my fingers. There you go. Look at that. So just like that, it's super strong in place. You would do the exact same thing on the bottom. So fold it down, 
Take an eyeball note and put a little pen marking where it goes. Okay. Now disconnect it and, then and push it, it in. There. Yeah, and you do the same thing on the bottom. And now we just want Decorate. to, yeah, you want to hide that. I mean, frankly, I actually am not super mad at the way that looks I right mean, now. I'm just really, saying, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I kind of like cool. the mixed metal. But, but if we're doing it for our daughters. Exactly. I thought this would be super cute. A little patch that kind of hangs over the bottom to give this to Blake. So Aww. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. But you can see over here, I did like a regular button. That's what I covered this one with. This one up here, the small white one, not only did I use a button, I put a little patch and I actually turned it into oh, a right. fanny pack. To turn it into a fanny that pack, really you just cute. cut a little slit, two slits in the back and you can run a belt through it and now you have a fanny pack.